Okay, today Kathy and I are going to be responding to a question by a viewer. How do I get to a point where I want recovery? What do I do in the meantime? Well, recovery is something that you definitely have to choose because if you don't choose it, you won't achieve it. And as far as um, I'm concerned, I think really the question is about choosing life. You're either choosing life or you're choosing death or you're choosing a life that's not really living. You can change your reality. I'm all about that. Um, you know, in fact, um, one of the post-its that I have for myself in my house by my desk is a post-it um, right on my desk by my computer that says, you can change your reality. And I really believe that. I mean, some people think like, well, this is my reality and this is my life and, you know, this is what's befallen me, but you can change your reality. Um, and it's hard to let go of old ghosts. It's hard to let go of old habits and old ways and things like that where your eating disorder is concerned, but it is possible. You have to really believe that it's possible or you're not going to get very far. Um, you have to accept the things that you can't change and change the things that you can. And this is a really, really, really hard thing to actually be able to do. I mean, to accept the things that you cannot change that, that is a huge statement, and that is a very, very difficult task. But until you get to that point, or at least try to work on that on a daily basis, you're just going to be in this stagnant position of, do I want recovery? Do I want to keep having an eating disorder? Do I want recovery? Do I want to keep having an eating disorder? And believe me, you do not want to keep having an eating disorder. Okay, the sun is a little bit in my eyes here, but um, hopefully you can see me all right. Um, I'm going to be making my video sort of in part only because I am really busy and I'm having little rushed moments of free time here and there and sometimes when I'm making a video what I do is I write my thoughts down I sort of like make little lists for myself so that I know what I want to say to you guys so I don't forget everything um, and then as I'm doing that, you know, I'll sit in front of the camera and I'll say my piece. And then a little bit later, I think of something else I want to add, so I add it. And basically what I end up doing a lot of the time, especially in this video, is I edit everything together. Um, and it becomes one video. So that's what this one's going to look like, I can tell. You have to choose recovery. And I, I can't stress enough how important it is to make this choice as soon as possible but at the same time I know that it doesn't work the same way for everyone um, I had you know sort of a realization revelation sort of um, sort of uh, experience a few years ago and it was just I got to a point where even though I had been you know recovering and I didn't want anorexia I was still unhappy and I still couldn't quite get to the point where I wanted to be and what I did was I was out with friends and I was having a great time and the night was over and we were walking home and I just started bawling my eyes out and it was something that happened all too often for me and I just kept thinking I, I love that I'm able to have a fun time and I love that parts of my life are good but I don't want every good part of my life to be overshadowed by misery all the time on a constant basis and that's what was happening I mean I sure I could have a good time but the pain would always be back the misery would always be back and I just didn't want to live like that so I made a conscious decision that I am not going to let this make me miserable I do not want this life I want a life that's full of mostly good things instead of full of good overshadowed by bad and you know that happened for me in that way but it's gonna happen for you in a different way but you have to really desire it with all your heart I mean if there's a part of you that does not want to recover you won't um, and recovery is hard work it's not something it's not something that comes naturally um, it's not something that is easy it's just something that the reward is so incredibly great that how can you not try it what you need to ask yourself is where do you want to be in one year where do you want to be in five years and where do you want to be in 10 years and 
you need to write that out for yourself so that you have it on paper, you have concrete evidence of where you want to go in this life, and then think to yourself, how is your eating disorder going to keep you from achieving those things or from doing those things or from having those things? Um, and it's what an eating disorder is is really a big problem and y you you want to fix the problem you know you don't want to keep wallowing in it so even though the path of recovery is very hard and it's hard to make that initial choice it's going to be the greatest thing that you'll ever do you have to tell yourself to cut the crap you really have to you know notice when you're doing something, when you're doing a behavior or having a thought. And the great part about recovering is it gets easier the more you do it. So, you know, if you have a bad thought, a negative thought, and you want to go do something that's an eating disordered behavior, you can stop yourself before you go do that behavior. Now, you still might have the thought. You might not have conditioned your mind, healed your mind enough to stop the thought, but you are you're getting somewhere, you're making progress, and it's going to take time, so you have to cut yourself some slack, but you also have to tell yourself to cut the crap. So when you hear that voice inside of yourself telling you something, you have to stop for a second and realize, that's not what I want to be saying, that's not what I want to be doing, that's not what I want to be thinking, and sit there and say to yourself in your head, cut the crap, Ariel, you know, cut the crap, whatever your name is, talk to yourself, cut the crap. It's something that I have told um, several of my group members. I'm an um, ANAD eating disorder support group leader, so um, I've said that to a variety of people, and it has been said to me probably, you know, a handful of times in the past. So just passing it along because it's really simple advice, but it's really helpful. Um, reflect. Learn yourself. You know, seek out strong people who can help you or serve as an inspiration. So even if you don't know someone in particular who can be your support system, but you know of a person that is a great inspiration, that they've recovered, they're recovering, you know, they're doing good things for themselves, you know, use that in the same way that you look to other people to, you know, make yourself feel bad or, you know, want to be thinner or want to be prettier or this or that. You know, forget all that crap and, you know, pick a new person. Pick a new group of people that you feel really inspired by, that you can really look up to, that you can really look toward. And as long as you're surrounding yourself with good, positive things, recovery is going to be much easier for you. Choosing recovery is figuring out what you want to do and if you can do that with an eating disorder. And you really have to think to yourself, can I do that with an eating disorder? And you can't. You, you just can't. You can't do it to the fullest. You can't do your best. You can't enjoy yourself the most. If you are constantly struggling with something, constantly using something as a coping mechanism that is unhealthy, choosing recovery is the first step to a better life. I'm really serious because this question, how do I get to a point where I want recovery? Well, I mean, there is a crossroads, sure. You, you're you going to come to a point where you cannot possibly go on any longer the way you're going. I mean, it could be because of your physical health. Um, you know, it could be because you're just going to plane crash and burn and you just can't keep going on the way you're going. Or it could be because of your mental health, your emotional state that you're just so miserable day after day that you don't even want to be alive. But the great thing is, you can change your reality. Don't give up. If you give up, you're giving up on yourself. And I'm not giving up on you. So I hope this uh, video was helpful today, and I hope you guys have a great week. Much love.